Well, I enjoyed my riding around with the grandkids over at uh, the Redwoods last weekend. But to use this bike here, I need to put more aggressive tyres on it. So I've picked these up this morning. So let's put them on. So these are a tubeless tyre. Excellent all round performance. They're wide, dual compound. And I can run them fairly low pressure too. So that's uh, what the salesman recommended. The tyres I've currently got on it are quite road orientated tyres. And I've got the mud guards on it there for uh, riding around the street. But now I'm uh, over that. I want to get on the hills a bit. My first trick is to get this bike airborne here so that I can uh, manage it in the air. I've got, I haven't got much room in my garage, but you can see my idea is just to suspend it in the air there, not far from the bench, so I can work on things. These nylon uh, Velcro straps will do the job, I'm pretty sure. That's the front part done. Looks tidy, doesn't it? I picked up a little bell as well, so that'll be handy. Nothing worse than coming up on people and they don't know you're behind them. I'd better get rid of this. I'll just save those brackets here because they work well. And it's surprising how many times I slip away to get a bottle of milk and carry it home in that. I just need to upgrade that box because the, uh, she's had a bit of tattering over the time. I think the part I need's in this kit here. And it's one of these fellas. Sort of a square head thing. Let's check. Bit loose. To get the mud yard off, I've got to get in under there to get that bolt out and release it down there too. So it is the back wheel out. Let's do that. That Velcro holds. <laughs> so there's the working environment. I've got the bike up at working height and I can get both wheels off now. The bike shop uh, owner says, Here, take this. It's a free copy of the AA Traveller setting out all the uh, cycle trails around New Zealand. The Cary Coast, I came down there on the motorbike. So I'll put that by my bed and I'll study that up as well. I haven't had one of these wheels off before, but this is an over centre release on this back piece here. Now it comes off easy, I just uh, need to detach the derailer first. That bolt there. go back on again and that's another thing. Mm -hmm. That's the back wheel free. Let's put him there. My next trick is to try and release this mud guard here. That's the one down in here. This way that's the wrong way. The one the big washer in under there too I've got to remember. So, I'm being diligent in putting my screws into this one here. The other thing I've 
this because it's an electric bike it's got um, brake lights as well not indicators but just brake lights so I uh, will try and preserve a spot there for that so instead of uh, bothering getting inside there I had an executive decision and we no longer have tail lights the bike says the bike stand here looks to be in the way as well so it's an optional extra for me it can come off and go in the box as well put these screws back in here so we don't lose them hello here's the boss hear me think i've gone psychotic in the shed here while i'm talking away to the shed to get a bit more pace out of this bike here i've de-restricted it normally the uh, receiving unit is on back on the inside here where my finger is but i've strapped it forward there and put a magnet on the inside aspect of that pedal there so the cadence now triggers that the speed of the pedal as opposed to the speed of the wheel going round and round and uh, that lifts the uh, upper speed up i can go as fast as i can pedal now and so it'll go up to 50 k's the next part of the journey is to get that front wheel off again it's an over center lock here and release a bit of tension on that side there and then mud guards off I'm capable of that, let's try it. Just ease it out of the brakes and away we go. Well, that seemed easy, didn't it? Let's put that back here too, out the way. I see another issue. We've got the headlight here on this, but I may be able to just take the mudguard off without uh, removing that light. Not held on by much. If I can just get in there. Another one over here. And there's one up and under there, so I can get that easy enough. When I de-restricted the bike, I have to, um, I couldn't tell the correct speed. So I bought something else here from China and that uh, that's the uh, receiver unit there. And you put a new uh, sender unit on the wheel, which is that one there. And that tells you the uh, actual speed because now my gauge up on the top here only tells me that I'm out doing 15 kilometers an hour on there when in actual fact I'm doing 50 kilometers an hour. There's another job I need to do is uh, make sure that that hole there into the engine housing is closed and this bit of wire here well it won't affect anything so I'll just leave that. Good, that's sealed up. I've got a bit of rubber behind it there, rubber washer. So that's the bike all stripped down. Now it's a matter of putting it back together again. But before we do all that, let's go and have a cup of tea. Where'd you get me cup of done, have you? <laughs> oh yeah, here it is, here. What did you say? Don't sit there laughing. <laughs> I got some tactical pants from China, but they're made for um, small Chinese bums. They won't tolerate my weight. Well, that was a good cup of tea. I also done a video just on uh, how you change a bike tire on YouTube. And it's exactly the same method that you use when I was a boy. So it hadn't changed. Let's unravel these and get, let the memory come out of them. Well, 
well, I'm one to always read the instructions. And it says be careful and don't use the compressor. Put some lights on here. These are uh, lights, different colours. And uh, when you put them on at night time, it sets up the wheel in a circular motion. I'll show you that tonight when I uh, go for a ride on my bike. That's the green one, the red one, and the blue one. My bike repair kit is in the South Island with my motorbike. So we'll have to improvise to get this air out of here. I think we'll use a small screwdriver. That'll push it in, won't it? With these skinny rims and big tyres, it doesn't take much to get the head off the bead. But I need two hands to do that, so I'll show you what happened. So it was very easy to pop off, it just uh, didn't need levers or anything like that. So that one's free. And will I use that tube in the tubeless tyre? Yes I will. I was wondering whether there is a, a direction of rotation and can you see it just there? So I've got to get that aligned with the uh, uh, brake disc here on the left hand side. Well, to me, it looks as though the tyre is far too big for this rim. Let's see what happens. I've been right round the bike and I can see the inner uh, protectors in good, good condition still. So I need not worry about that. And because I haven't got a tubeless valve, this is going back on. Well, that definitely needed two hands to get that on. I just got to check that I've got it the right way around. Put too much air in because I'll check that when I get. It's a nice looking tread on there now, isn't it? Just check my rotation, and the splines are on the other side there. That goes here and it goes that way, so we got it right. So we'll start on the other one now. Lovely. Just check the beads all in order. It's all in good neck all around that, so that's marvellous. can see that it's uh, not beaded in properly there but what they say is you put a bit of soapy water around it and I've got some of that there so my strategy is just to let it down and put a bit of soap around it and uh, reinflate it We'll do that both sides. It does say these tyres will take up to 60 psi, so let's take it up to 50. Stand by. Well, that was a battle to get that wheel in. The front one went in easy, uh, but I just need to take it up to my son-in-law who will fine tune those tyres and get it uh, exactly right on the bike. Here's good.
going to be running dead through to fit through there nicely. So we'll just give her a puff of air and that'll... Get it up to Tamara and Chris is there and they can sort it out for me. Well, there's the transformation. She's got new boots on, and I'm sure that I'm going to enjoy riding around in the redwoods with that bike. Well, well, that finished off that little project. I've just got a bit of fine tuning now to make that uh, fit on there, and I'm sure that I'm going to get some miles out of that on the back roads. A bit safer with a bit more grip. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.